Hello and welcome, my name is Ahiro and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nacelles 4, where we are playing as the Ottomans. And uh, we just had a technical glitch, so for some reason recording stopped, so I'm just going to do 10 min minutes more and uh, put this up obviously at the same time as the video you just saw. Um, and we'll call that a full episode. Anyway, uh, right before the end we had some rebels spawn of course. And I'm not sure if we have any of these armies on the way there, but we will now. I'll send one of them up here and the other one down here. Let's see if we can deal with those as soon as possible. And we have a free advisor slot as well, so we need to hire a new military advisor. Let's hire someone cheap. Uh, let's go with the discipline guy. How are our money situation? Yeah, let's go with the discipline guy. And although I really like this, I would really like a relationship over time guy that didn't cost it much. I think I'm gonna try firing this guy and hope for the best. And of course they are successful because why wouldn't they be? I only have to use one month to get there. But I will not cry that much more about that. And Ethiopia is being bitches. And some bitches. So if we attack Fundi, would Ethiopia they wouldn't um they wouldn't protect them but hit Yas would. And Wasangali down here, which I also which I am doing some claims on now. So let's wait with that. Do the claims. Hit Yas. We don't have any more Claims on Hijaz, but some of that do. Um, now we own some of their core provinces, so we can't do. So we can't get them anymore. So now it's just a matter of killing all of this ourselves. We have a vassal up here. We have a vassal over here. I will grow those vassals. Uh, what do you have? You have a lot of core provinces, so we can go to war with... Oh, Afghanistan has formed. I'm gonna go with the Timurids first. I think the Timurids first, and then uh, Afghanistan. Mm. So I think I will just send a guy to Timurids so we can get that one claim there. We will counter espionage, we will espionage. Take some more claims over here. Uh, Glute of mercenary companies. With, uh, which war ended? Who can say? Was it several or just one big one? It matters not. The number of unemployed mercenary companies have arrived in our realm looking for work. We can get uh, more mercenaries. Don't really care. We don't want mercenaries if we can do without. We do have one too many generals now because we have too little power protection. So I guess we'll have to get rid of this general. Which is a shame. We don't really need all of this military power, so I'm gonna keep him around actually. And then we should probably think about um, going to war with Spain again too soon. We are well on our way with the course, so who is Spain allied to? Portugal, Liege, Utrecht, nothing really important. So, um, do the last claims against Spain. Um, probably do a single war over here once we dealt with these rebels, then go to war with Spain. I think that's the, the future. Um, and some estates modifiers, so this might probably means we can do the whole... Um, oh, it's just Gant general ship, I think. Not for another lemma. We can demand administrator support. Let's do that. Do we want to demand a general... Yeah. 
but I would rather drive some ships. No, that's 40 tradition for 20 influence. Oh, yeah. Then we'll just fire them. He... We don't want him. So what do we want here? We probably want the fighting general. Keep him, keep him around. And now we just need to deal with these rebels. Get our best fighting general for that. Conversion successful. And we have maximum admin points, so let's do some development. And we can do... Mm, do you want to do, do these one year ahead of time? I want to... Might as well use those points on development. Like, there's no reason to waste them on ahead of time when we can just use them on development. Development helps out. Giving us more money and more... Ooh, we're paying a lot in interest. Finally we get to deal with all of these rebels. Go deal with these as well. Local noble powers grow to intricate uh, at court, skillful alliances, and exploitation of its local realm. One of the kingdom's nobles have grown incredibly wealthy and powerful. We don't deal with him now. Uh, he may become a pretender to the throne through reducing his power will prove difficult even given his influence and private retainers that maintain as part of his own small army. So we can ignore him, uh, which would give some more Autonomy to Castamonu and loyalty to the base. So what? Find this ca Castamonu. So there's almost no autonomy there. So giving doing this would would of course cost some money. It would cost some trade power. Cost in prestige. But we get. 10 loyalty for the base, which would be nice, would give some more less maintenance modifier. Could try to outwit him, losing a stability, I don't want that, or we could fight some rebels, I don't want that, so let's ignore him. And it just barely didn't give them enough, uh, but I can give some land to the base, I guess. Just give them some of these new lands down here that's worth a little. And now they're really happy and that's making me money. And we dealt with those rebels. I just need to seize this back and gain this manpower back, which is gonna take a while. Which sucks. To say the least. Um, you can go there, you go down there. Um, and more revolts. You got to go down there. Deal with that. And of course they're, they're successful because it takes one month. God damn it. And we have even more rebels ready to rise up. Uh, let's send these guys over here because there's gonna be an uprising up here soon. Go 
we'll deal with Qatar. And even more men died. And the Fasani rebels roused up. Very nice. Let's put a general in charge of this army. And a maneuver guy in charge of this army as well. And we had to renew alone, which sucks because it means we take oh, even more rebels. Oh, this is never ending. See, it will have to take a couple of years to deal with all of this. And we maxed out our military points, so do some development. The, when European nations started to colonize North and South America, they created large plantations from the production of cotton, tobacco and sugar. First they tried to use the local population as slaves, but it quickly died out when there was tried. Slaves were then imported from Africa and when created a triangular trade system. Europe sold textile rum and manufactured goods to Africa, Africa sold slaves to America, and America sold cotton, sugar and tobacco to Europe. So of course there is no North and South America in this game because... Um, well, because if we have a random new world, but still, uh, still probably the same principle. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's send this guy. Mm, actually, send this guy. I think at this point, fire is worth as much, if not more. And. Send you there, send, send you there. We need another advisor. Uh, diplomatic better relations or time guy. Again, a plus three guy. Um, we can't afford that, so let's just do a spy network construction. Do a bunch of claims. We can only do one on Timurids. I can actually do two. Oh, yeah, you can fabricate over that lake or sea or whatever. Uh, do a bunch here. We do need some manpower before we can go to war with Spain. Uh, and we got some claims down here as well. But we were done with the Timurids. And I think um, I'm gonna end this video here. In the next video we'll probably look at... Um, see. I'll check this out. Send him there. Actually keep him there. Send him there. Um, yeah, we'll probably be looking at a war with the Timurids next video. Uh, who they are at. Oh, okay. I thought they were uh, allied with these guys up here. Belukistan. Just find them. Belu. Belu. That's probably an easier way to do that, Christian. Uh, down here, no problem. Okay, we'll go to war with Timurids next time. And deal with that. Uh, get some more land for these guys. Um, then probably... Uh, depending on how fast we can regain our manpower, either we'll take a war with Afghanistan after that, or we'll take a war with Spain. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one and until then have a good day.